NASA leader Rayla Odinga on Monday stepped in to have Maguna Maguna allowed into the country. The opposition chief went to Jkia after immigration officials denied the lawyer entry for lack of Kenyan passport. Maguna had arrived into the country from Canada where he was deported on February 6. Immigration officials said the self-declared Nurmki general needed to apply for a tourist visa in order to be allowed into the country. The standoff lasted several hours since 2.30 p.m. when Maguna's plane touched down at the airport. Rayla arrived at around 10 p.m., the crowd attempted to push their way in but were blocked by security officers. The lot, most of them Maguna's supporters, wanted the immigration officials to open the door so that they are allowed in. When interviewed earlier, Maguna spoke of his tours in London saying he spelled out an RM agenda in the areas he made a stop. He said immigration officials wanted him to be taken back to Dubai as an undocumented person. They will have to kill me first, he told journalists through the seals of the locked doors. Businessman Jimmy Wanjigi arrived at the airport minutes after 11 p.m. and was blocked from entering the waiting bay. He pleaded with the officers manning the gates to allow him saying he is ready to be arrested for showing solidarity with Maguna. Are they in custody? Arrest me so that I can be part of the team inside there. Today is me, tomorrow will be your turn, Wanjigi told the police. Journalists covering the proceedings were roughed up by officers who were called in when the standoff persisted late in the night. A number of them sustained injuries during the commotion that ensued. Citizen TV's Stephen Lee too was seen writhing in pain, ostensibly after he was assaulted by an officer. A battery of GSU officers dispersed the reporters and those who had streamed at the airport to receive the NRM general. Lawyer James Orengo said Maguna had traveled in line with the court orders which directed the government and the relative authorities to allow the opposition politician back. The Kenyan authorities should have validated Maguna's passport as was directed by the court. Orengo said the excuses the government has given on the Maguna debacle was not founded on any law. He said Maguna did not have his Canadian passport at the time he arrived in Tabac. The CIA senator said they were forced to intervene when the authorities sought to put Maguna back on a plane to Dubai. Uru and Ruto should be ashamed of themselves to allow police officers abuse the law. Rayla left at around 11.30 p.m. without addressing the press on the debacle.